It's Wednesday and it's time for the next episode of Magician 101, the show for all magicians. We got a lot of great questions this week. We're going to dive right into them. Remember to post your questions down below for next week. All right, so the first question, actually it's a comment, comes from Mr. Tadpole221 uh, talking about the trick that we talked about last week that he asked about, the one that uses the thread system. And he says, uh, Mr. Tadpole says, I have it now and it uses it, but it looks amazing. It works great because the gimmick is very clever and well thought out. This is my first time using Thread, and it was well worth it. Uh, so that's very cool. I'm glad you like the trick. Again, I will never, ever, 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 ever use Invisible Thread. I'm one of those magicians that just hates Invisible Thread. But if you if you like the trick and you want to use Invisible Thread, keep going because there's a, and there's a lot of great tricks on the market that use Invisible Thread. So definitely check out some of the other Invisible Thread tricks. But I will never use Invisible Thread. I just I personally choose not to work with it. And Mr. Tadpole also wants to know, how do you find out about magic conventions? Uh, Google. Just go on Google and type in uh, magician conventions, and there's a lot of them out there. Uh, there's some in different states, like the Magic World that we talked about last week is in Arlington, Virginia. I know there's some that meet up in all different states. Most of the magic conventions in the United States, though, meet up in Las Vegas. So you need to go out to Vegas to... Um, do to, to, to be part of a magic convention a lot of times. And there's a big one over in England called Blackpool. That's a big one over there. So, you know, if you're over in England, you can check out the Blackpool Magic Convention. All right. And Nick Penny says, what do you do for a job, LOL? Just wondering, I'm a baker by day, entertainer by night, whenever slash whenever the bakery doesn't need me, LOL. Uh, I'm a retail sales clerk. I, am a, I work at a Hallmark store, a, a, a Hallmark card shop. And uh, we sell cards, gift bags, stationery, ribbon, tissue, bows, a uh, bunch of different um, gifts like Willow Tree and Jim Shore. So I, that, that's where I work. And um, I'm actually a supervisor there. I'm like a, I'm a key holder, as we call it, where I have the key to the store. I can pop the registers open and, and uh, check returns and all that great stuff. So check to make sure the returns are done correctly and answer um, employee questions. So it's really fun. Uh, I've been there for six years, actually. I've been there for six years. This will be my, um, I think I'll, I think it'll be seven in October. It'll be my seventh Christmas for Hallmark. So never thought I'd be there that long. And uh, also trying to do the college thing a little bit. I'm trying to do college on my own, though, this year. Uh, I'm trying to, because I want to open up my own magic store one day. My own actual brick and mortar magic shop. And I'm trying to do research on my own instead of paying the money to go to college, which it, it was like super expensive to take an intro to business class. But anyways, uh, enough of that. So I'm a, um, a retail sales clerk for Hallmark. All right. And Future Magic 101 says, can you do the 40 tricks in four minute challenge? I'm going to say to you, I have no idea. Um, I, I, when I saw your comment, I thought to myself, that would be very interesting to take on. But I don't know if I can do it uh, because I don't know if I have enough quick tricks to do. But I'm definitely thinking about maybe doing it and seeing what fast tricks I do have that I maybe could do. Because you have to like, bam, 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 bam. You got to do them quickly. Uh, you can't do long, drawn out story tricks because that's going to eat up four or five minutes right there for one trick. So it has to be quick tricks. So I'm still thinking about it. Maybe one day you'll see uh, that on my channel. All right, Jay Brothwick has the final questions, and he says, hey, mate, cannot wait to see your video for the contest. By the way, Jay Brothwick is having a contest on his channel, so I'm sure in the next couple days, right down below, you will see Jay Brothwick's name. You can click on his name and go to his channel there, or go to last week's Magician 101 and click on his name there, and you can find all the details about his contest. He's given away some uh, well, he's given away one prize that we know of, and he's keeping another prize a secret. So definitely check out his channel. All he's wanting you to do is post a magic video not longer than five minutes, I think he said. Not longer than five. Yeah. Anyways, something like that. So he says, you know, keep a magic video short, post one, and boom. And, uh, and he wants you to do some more other things with his contest as well. So definitely um, check out his video, his contest video, and maybe submit something. You have about four weeks to do that. So he's going to give you till about four weeks to do it. All right, so he says, so what do you think of the iTwist iPhone trick? Is it good? And iLogo. All right, so uh, iTwist and iLogo, I did both of those for the 365-day Magic Challenge. I think I did both in front of the Street Magic backdrop over there. Um, so uh, iTwist, if you don't know what it is, you take an iPhone 
and you give it a little twist and you can see the phone actually twist. It's really, really cool. And our logo is where you take the, the Apple logo and you move it around the phone. You can move it to the corner, you can move it to somewhere else on the phone, or move it completely off the phone and then it appears back on the phone in its original position. Really, really great trick. Um, I do like both of these, but I think if I had to choose one, I do love iLogo the best because I think it packs more of a punch. I think it packs more of a punch because um, sometimes the eye twist gimmick doesn't really look very well. So to me, I think iLogo looks really, really good because there's really no way to mess it up because sometimes the twist, I've seen magicians do, uh, I've seen other magicians on YouTube do the twist motion and it doesn't look as good. So it, it's hit or miss with the twist motion on the uh, eye twist. So boom. But they're both really, really cool. The only downside is a lot of people now have iPhone 5s. And the creator of iTwist said, we're going to put out another gimmick down the road later for iPhone 5s when more people have the iPhone 5. Because when, because on the website for iTwist, it said, or the, the uh, developer's blog or whatever, who, wherever I read it, said that right now we're trying to keep it current because most people are going to have iPhone 4s or 4Ss. But when more people start getting the 5, we'll put it out for the 5. Well, the 5's been out for a while. I know a lot, I know a lot of people have the 5s already, and they still they haven't put out a new gimmick for that. So that's the only downside to iLogo and iTwist. They don't have the gimmicks out for uh, iPhone 5s yet. And I know a lot of people have, but like for me, it's not a problem because I can do the iLogo or the iTwist with my iPhone, with my own personal one. The only problem with having it be your own personal one instead of a borrowed one is they may think it's a phony baloney magic prop. They may think that because, you know, spectators could think anything. Uh, I had, I mean, so I've, I've had somebody, I, I know somebody who, uh, I know somebody who actually, uh, in one of their shows, somebody had thought their phone that they were using because it wasn't a borrowed one was a phony baloney magic phone. Like, he actually took a long time. and So, anyways, people just think what they want to believe. And if you use their borrowed object, it, they're going to be like, wait, that was my phone. It, I, I use it every day. So, that's the only bad thing. You need to put out new gimmicks, like I'm saying. But, other than that, both tricks are really good. So, if you have an iPhone 4 or 4S phone, you, could, you should definitely get the iTwist or iLogo. All right. And, oh, by the way, both tricks do come in single color, so you can get just black or just white, or both tricks do come in the multi-pack, where you can get for white and black iPhones. All right, uh, Jay wants to know, what is your favorite pack of playing cards that you, uh, that you like to use the most? All right, my favorite pack is, I still have them sitting right here, actually, the ones you sent me, Bicycle Rider Backs playing cards. Um... Sometimes, I don't really like using the Jumbo very much. I do like the Jumbo for regular magic tricks, like forced outcome. But if you have to use a gimmick, a lot of the uh, magic trick gimmicks for like playing cards are on standard size, not the Jumbo. But I do like using the Rider Back playing cards. And, um, I don't really like using specialty decks that much. This is the expert back because, um, let me open them up here. Because if you take a look, the expert back cards, notice that they have different uh, designs. I'll, I'll get one really close to the camera here. Notice that it has, you know, it looks at, at weathered and aged and the back's different than most people are familiar with. I like to kind of use uh, playing cards and props that people are familiar with, except for sponge balls. That's the only thing. But like for playing cards and card tricks, I like to use like the rider back because that's, everyone knows bicycle rider back. As, as soon as you pull out a bicycle rider back deck, they know exactly. They're like, it, I, I know these cards. You pull out one of these custom decks, like this one, or down in my Magic case, I have the Stickman deck and the Vaudeville deck. Those are custom decks. Those are specialty decks. And when you pull those out, most people are going to be like, these, these, these could be, this could be a phony baloney Magic deck. Again, what I was saying with the iLogo and iTwist using your own cell phone, people could think that something's up with that. Same thing if you use a... Uh, if you use one of these uh, custom decks or cards, I to to me, I make it makes me seem like well, they might think something's up because they're not used to seeing those kinds of cards. Maybe this style or these color. So that's why I like using red or blue because you can go to any Walmart, Target, um, grocery store and pick up Rider Back blue and red decks. So I like using that. All right, and Jay Brothwick wants to know: Do you have the Enchanted Cube trick? Because if you do, can you show it? Thanks, mate. Have a good rest of your week. Okay, I do have the Enchanted Cube. It is not set up and ready to go. I have it right down in my case down here. Let me get it out. 
This is the Enchanted Cube by Fuller's Doors. I do have it. There is a video of me doing it on my channel. Type in Rubik's Cube Magic Trick in the search box. But, uh, Jay, please, 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 in the comments down below, post Enchanted Cube. Just say Enchanted Cube. And I'll do this next week. I'll get it set up and ready to go, and I'll do it next week. Because I didn't—I forgot to actually set it up this week. So if you wouldn't mind posting it down below, just say Enchanted Cube, and then I will post. And I'll, uh, if I remember to set this thing up this week, I'll do that. I'll probably set it up right after I get finished filming, so I can do it next week. Just post that in the comments below, uh, Enchanted Cube, to, to remind me, and I'll do it next week if I remember. Thank you guys so much for watching Magician 101. I will see you all next week for another all new Magician 101. And join me again on course every Monday for Magical Mondays. Post your questions down below for next week, and I'll see you next time. I pour it right inside of here, and notice that the milk... Of course, you get the, the two tubes, and you get a certain amount of bottles. Let me grab one of the bottles. He was on a roll with hole-in-one. Not only did he sink the putt on his first shot, but he also got the $500...